you know what, this is like a win-win. I love Betty White and I love Hidden Camera. And where can you get both in the same show? So when they asked me to be on the show, I didn't hesitate. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody asked me to be on this show. I begged. I want to be on this show. I just wanted to be on this show. I'm not even, at the time of this interview, I'm not even sure I'm on the show. But I just wanted to talk about Off Your Rockers. I hope I'm on the show. I'm a fan of Hidden Camera. You know, my, my, I've talked about this many times in my career. My, my uh, catalyst for wanting to be in comedy and wanting to be was Alan Funt, you know, Candid Camera. And, you know, this takes it back to its roots. And this is good family fun. And with the icon of Betty White at the helm, I mean, how can you lose? I love this show. I love watching the show. And I love, I cannot believe that I'm sitting here in person talking and working with Betty. This is a real treat. I mean, so many people, I think America and the world loves Betty White. And very few people get a chance to spend, you know, time with her like we are, you know, doing a show. And just to, you know, this is a bucket list for anybody in, their, in this business, you know, to spend a, a moment. And I get to spend an episode. I had an episode with Betty White. Betty has called attention to my uh, germophobia in this episode, and uh, she's trying to accommodate in a way only Betty can, and then the, hopefully the hilarity and laughs ensue. But uh, you know what? She's very gracious and very accommodating, and uh, she's been, when you guest on this show, I mean, there's no, Betty, iron my pants! Well, it just goes to show you that people at any age, if they're vibrant and alive, they can do it, you know, and be there. And not only that, I think this show proves it, inspires people, and brings us one step closer to world peace.